It's kind of a family collaboration. It used to be an old antique mall, so we've incorporated some of the antiques that were residual inventory, and I've traveled and done shows in the last year um, of things that I make, Western vintage things, so we've incorporated that, and then we have our own ranch-raised meats, and then um, Josh does the feed side of things, so it's just kind of collaboration of everything. Is there one particular product that's like more popular than others? Um, we are a certified IFA dealer, so that's been probably our most popular is the feed end of things. We kind of just threw the doors open Father's Day weekend just to kind of get a grasp on what the community wanted, what we were going to be offering and doing, and it's kind of evolved from there. So um, we've put on some clinics for the public, um, as well as the 4-H and FFA livestock clinics, um, be in poultry clinics, just to kind of get everybody um, some knowledge, and then also to introduce ourselves that we're kind of a new business in town. And I always wanted to be a business owner, and then through traveling and doing shows and making my own product and getting a good response from that, and a lot of people just encourage me to open my own business. We are really excited because um, after we have some work done on the roof on the other half of the building, we're going to be expanding, so we'll be doubling our square footage. So that will be allowing us to have more of the feed and grain, um, and that sort of thing. And then we're also gonna be bringing in Longhorn beef cuts at the end of this month that we've raised. And no one around here sells Longhorn meat, so that's gonna be exciting.